So you want to edit a Zoom video? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to cut clips, how to add subtitles, elements, text, background music, and how to style it to fit your overall brand and aesthetic, taking it from this to this. And don't worry, you do not need any editing experience. I'm going to walk you through the entire thing. So let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to record a Zoom video. Now, if you already have your recording, please feel free to skip ahead to this timestamp. Okay, so I've got my Zoom open now and I have my guest speaker, Becky here. Hi, Becca. <laughs> and now to record the meeting, all you're gonna do is hit record. Recording in progress. You hear your prompt. Hi, Becca, thank you so much for joining me today. I wanted to ask you very quickly, what is your favorite feature of Bead? One of my favorite features is definitely the automatic subtitles. It saves me so much time. A thousand percent. That is my favorite feature as well. And then when you're ready to finish the recording, you can let your speaker go. Thanks, Becca. And then just hit end and then end meeting for all. It now automatically converts our recording to an MP4 file. And if I click on our folder down here, you'll see where your Zoom video has saved to. So it's in my documents and we've got our audio file, the con file and an MP4 file, which is the one that we need. So I'm going to rename it just so that it's easier to find right click on it then click on properties and then you can delete this name and then call it zoom video perfect now i'm just going to drag that into my downloads folder and that's how to record videos on zoom moving on now i'm going to show you how to edit your zoom videos and to get started all you have to do is click the first link in the description because we're going to be using beads online editor now we're in Veed, we're just going to click upload a file and upload the Zoom recording that we've just saved to our downloads. You'll then give that a moment here to upload. You now have the chance to resize your video so that it fits any social media platform. This is perfect for repurposing content. All you have to do is see where it says size here, click that arrow down and you can choose from any of these options. So let's say that I wanted to make this a TikTok video. I would just select TikTok. It resizes my video, but it's a little too zoomed in. So I'm just gonna click on the video itself and then click fit to canvas. However, for the purpose of this video, I actually do want to make a YouTube video. So I'm going to go back into settings, then back into size. I'm going to select YouTube, but you feel free to choose whichever option works best for you. Don't worry, it won't impact the rest of the tutorial. The next thing I want to do is I want to cut my clips here. I want to trim off the fat, AKA the dead air and awkward silences. We can also cut out sections here that we no longer want. I want to show you a shortcut for how to remove those silences automatically. So click on the video itself and then scroll down in the left hand panel here and where you see the button that says remove silences click on that and that's a done that's a shortcut for you but let me show you another way let's remove the dead air at the start and the end of the video so we're going to move our playhead over to the point at which we want our video to begin by the way if you weren't sure this is a playhead then click split right click on the portion that you want to remove and hit delete you can now hover your mouse over that gap you'll see a bin appear and click it to move your timeline over we're going to do the exact same thing again to the end of our video move your playhead over to the point you want your video to end click split right click on that portion that you want to remove and hit delete now let's say that there's a part in the middle of your zoom that you want to remove it's no longer relevant i'll show you how to do that move your playhead over in the timeline to the start of that portion that you want to delete then click split now move your playhead over to the end of that portion click split again right click on that entire segment that you want to remove and hit delete and just the same as before you can hover your mouse over that gap for the bin to appear and then click it to join the two clips together moving on we can now style our video so that it fits our brand and aesthetic and the first thing i want to do is i want to get rid of these black bars and replace it with something brighter so we can do this one of two ways first way is to add a block color we need to head to settings in the toolbar next to background you're going to click that color bucket then you're going to choose a color and then click on the video itself and you need to use the top middle toggle here pull that down and it will start to reveal your color and you're going to do the exact same to the bottom middle toggle just a note you'll need to do this to every individual clip if you've already cut your clips the second way we can change the background here is to click on elements in the toolbar scroll down to backgrounds and click view all you can now choose your favorite here then pull the corners and sides out till it fills the frame and then once you've done that head to your timeline and drag that layer across your entire video this is just so that it will stay on screen for the entire duration then drag it under your video in the timeline now the next thing that I want to do is I want to pin a topic or question on screen so that when somebody clicks on our video it gives them a bit of context so we're going to head to the toolbar here we're going to click elements you're going to scroll until you see pop-ups and then click view all now you have some options here that you can choose from but I think I'm going to pick this one I'm then going to resize and reposition it on screen to resize it just pull on the corners and sides and to reposition it click hold and drag it in position we can actually animate this pop-up so we're going to click on animation and then you can hover 
hover your mouse over each individual one to see what they do. Then just choose your favorite. Now you can head to your timeline and again, make sure that's covering your entire video. Now we're happy with our element, we can pin our topic or question on top of that by adding some text. So just click text in the toolbar and you can choose from any of these pre-made templates or you can choose to customize your own text by clicking on headline title. Now just type in the topic or question And then you can choose your own font, your own size, a color. If you click on animation here, you can animate your text. Same as before, hover your mouse over each one to see them in action and select your favorite. I think I'm gonna choose a typewriter. Now place your text on top of your pop-up element and drag that across your entire timeline. Now we're starting to take shape here, but the next step is crucial, adding subtitles. Subtitles have been proven to boost your video's performance, so please do not skip this step. Let me show you the fastest and easiest way to add subtitles using Bead's Auto Subtitle Generator. You're gonna click subtitles here in the toolbar, then click Auto Subtitle, Choose your language. We have over 135 languages here, so you're bound to find the one that you need. And then just click Create Subtitles. You're gonna give that some time here to work. Once it's finished, you'll see your subtitles on screen. Watch it all the way through just to make sure that it hasn't misheard or misinterpreted any of the words that you've said. And if that has happened, it is a very simple fix. Just click on the word that's wrong, delete it, and type out the correct word. You can also change the duration of each subtitle here by pushing them in and out in the timeline or you can use the stopwatches here to time them. Then click on the styles tab and you can choose from any of the pre-made templates here or you can customize your own by choosing your own font, choosing your own size, color of the text, color of the effect, you can click on animation and again we have some styles here similar to before hover your mouse over each one to see what they do some are like karaoke the words will appear in sync with the audio other ones are like mr beast where they pop up on screen with the audio again choice is yours pick which one you like the best and then once you've picked it you can click back and then you can choose to add an effect if you like and then lastly you can just reposition your subtitles on screen the last thing that i want to add to tie it all together in a nice little bow is to add some ambient background music and you can do that with Inveed. so let's head over to audio here we're going to click audio in the toolbar next to stock audio click search and in here we've all music different sound effects here everything is royalty free meaning you will not get a copyright strike on your social media even better it's all filtered by genre making it super easy for you to find the track that you need and to hear it, all you have to do is press play. I'll give you a little sample now. Perfect. Now, once you've found the one that you like, just select it and it's gonna load in your timeline. If you can't see it, just use the sidebar here to scroll down. Now move your playhead over to the end of the video and we're just gonna trim the music. Click split, right click on the remainder of the song and hit delete. Now click on the track itself and we're just gonna turn that audio down anywhere kind of under 10%. We want it to be there, but we don't want it to be distracting. So yeah, anywhere under 10% should be perfect. Lovely, now we've finished editing our Zoom video, we can download it. So just click export in the top right hand corner, choose your render settings, make sure burn subtitles is marked as on. This just keeps our subtitles permanently on our video and then click export video. That's gonna take a little bit of time to render here depending on the length of your video. And once it's finished, watch it all the way through once more just to make sure you're happy with it. And if you're happy with it, you can go ahead and click download and download MP4. And that's how to edit Zoom videos. I really hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.